and welcome to this evening edition of North Penn News. I'm Rebecca Rosenblatt. And I'm Jackie Frick. In our first story, last Monday, Crawford Stadium was packed for an exciting evening event despite the day off. North Penn News reporter Rebecca Rosenblatt has more. Sophomores and juniors kicked off the night with a mainly back and forth game, concluding with a win for the sophomores 27 to 26. At halftime, the sophomore and junior cheerleaders performed their routines to dazzle the crowd. After the first game, the Powderpuff King and Queen, representing SGA and Thespian Troop, were crowned for their fundraising efforts towards VH1. In the second game of the night, the seniors came away with a win against the sophomores, 21-6. The senior cheerleaders performed to a medley of Miley Cyrus songs. Their highly entertaining routine claimed them the cheerleading champion title, and the juniors won the sportsmanship award. Overall, it was a very successful night with over $400 donated to VH1. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Rebecca Rosenblatt. Knapp Elementary School hosted its second annual Parent Camp this past weekend. Parent Camp 2, the Global Parent Teacher Conference, featured a keynote from Dr. Adam Berman, who discussed parent communi student communication. After the keynote, there were many breakout sessions, including college planning, IEP 101, technology, internet safety, and optimizing communication with your child, to name a few. The day concluded with a live Skype conversation with a middle school in Texas that was also holding a student conference at the same time. Parents from North Penn quizzed the students about, from Texas about the use of technology in their lives. The day ended with a smackdown where attendees shared the day's experiences and recommendations for next year's parent conference. Last Saturday, the North Penn Marching Knights traveled to Hapro Horsham for a cavalcaded bands competition. The Knights placed first in their division as well as an overall first place finish. The Marching Knights will be traveling to Hershey to compete in the 2013 Calvacated Bands Grand Championships this weekend. This is the last competition for this band this season. Good luck to everybody involved. Last month, North Penn Schools celebrated Bus Safety Week. Here's a closer look at the event. No cheating, no drinking, no riding, no bus. I'm Vicki Trusdell. I'm a North Penn School District bus driver, and we are at Oak Park Elementary today doing our school bus safety program. The bus safety program, we go around to all 13 elementaries and show the kids how to ride the bus the right way. Not throwing things out the window, staying in their seat, how to cross the street safely, go home safely. We need them to be safe. That's our primary goal. We have found over the past 15 years of doing this program that it is so much nicer to get come into the schools and actually get hands on. The kids actually see us, interact with them. The puppets make it more interesting than just sitting and watching a still video or, or a movie. Um, we get into it. They enjoy it. We get participation from the audience, feedback from the audience. Everybody enjoys the program. We enjoy doing this program so much. I, like I said, we've done it for 15 years. We love doing this. Going out to all the schools, seeing the kids. The kids love to see us as their driver up on stage acting out how to ride the bus the right way. Can't wait to do it again next year. Yo-ho, the safest ride for me. You hold the handrail while climbing the stairs, the safest ride for me. Smile at your driver and always say hi, the safest ride for me. Yo-ho, yo-ho, the safest ride for me. Last week, alumni Jennifer Sykes visited the AFJROTC to speak about her accomplishments to members of the AFJROTC about her accomplishments. Jen enlisted in the Air Force after she graduated from North Penn in 1999 and joined the AFJROTC in college. Here she discusses her experience at North Penn. It was a great education. It gave me exposure to a lot of different things. I was involved in sports. I was involved in Key Club and it gave me a really good foundation to be able to go on to college with Air Force ROTC and um, be able to take advantage of the opportunities that came my way. Now, Jen works as a federal prosecutor in the Department of Justice. North Penn is very proud of our prestigious alumni. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Melissa Cubitt. 
On Thursday, October 24th, eighth grade students at Pembroke Middle School spent their morning learning about careers and professional fields at the annual career day. Over 10 speakers talked to the students about their careers and the path they took to the position they hold today. Speakers included a gemologist, airline pilot, psychologist, lawyer, financial planner, and a geophysicist, just to name a few. Career Day culminated with local sports personality Mike Missinelli serving as the keynote speaker. Mr. Missinelli stressed to the students that the key to anything he has done in his career is reading. He told the students to take something out of every class they take and to always continue learning. How many teachers would like the sports pages all the time? I used to read every And Brooke Middle School tried something new during lunch on October 29th. Here's a closer look. Hi, I'm Sherry Castle. I'm the librarian here at Pembroke. And today is Mix It Up at Lunch Day. Mix It Up at Lunch Day is an activity sponsored by Teaching Tolerance. Um, and students are randomly assigned to tables so that they sit with different people from their usual lunches. And um, they're given questions to uh, start conversations and get to know some new people. Um, the purpose for today is just to give kids an opportunity to meet new people, um, give them some skills that they can apply if they are in other circumstances where they have to uh, make a new friend. And uh, it's really a great way to kind of cross the boundaries that uh, we sometimes set for ourselves. I think mixing up at lunch is especially important for middle school kids because those are the years that we form who we are going to become. And I think that it makes the kids more comfortable in different situations. And it lets them see that even people who are different from them are still great people. Join the North Penn ice hockey team on Thursday, November 21st for their night with the Knights. A special event for North Penn elementary students, the Knights will be hosting a pizza party at 7.20 p.m. following their game at Hatfield Ice. The game will include additional fun surprises between the periods. The party will include admission for one student and parent, one drink, and one slice of pizza per person. For more information, contact Dan Vadis with the information on your screen. Come out and support the Knights as they take on Pensbury High School and join in the pizza party after the game. North Penn's Indian Cultural Association held their annual Garba Night on Friday, October 25th. North Penn News reporter Rebecca Rosenblatt has more. Last Friday, the Indian Cultural Association held their annual Garba event with a new edition, Electric Garba. The nine-day festival was celebrated among students, family, and faculty. With more than 200 students attending, the fast-paced dances were easily picked up by all. Electric Garba began with the lights turning off and students buying glow sticks to wear during the second half. Ending with a religious ceremony, Garba proved to be an exciting and entertaining night for all who attended. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Rebecca Rosenblatt. North Penn High School's fall production of Our Town will take place on November 21st, 22nd, and 23rd at 7 p.m. 7:30 p.m. and on November 24th for a special matinee show at 2 p.m. Tickets are $5 for students and $10 for adults and can be purchased in advance or at the door. Come out and see a great show about small town family life and support North Penn Theater. Superintendent Dr. Kurt Dietrich continued his superintendent student council visits at Gwynnor Elementary School. The students had the opportunity to give feedback to Dr. Dietrich regarding school academics and activities. Dr. Dietrich will be visiting every school district to meet with students and discuss possible improvements to their school. This year, North Penn High School introduced the new animation class. North Penn News reporter Tristan Fredrickson has more. There's a new course here at North Penn called Animation One, where students can learn the skills and techniques of classic and modern animation. Students in Animation One have access to computer software such as Adobe Flash to help them create visually stimulating animations, much like the ones on the rise in popular media and entertainment. Uh, animation is a new course here at North Penn High School, which has started this year. Uh, it's a course in the art department. It's a course where we're studying art and how art can essentially move in time, uh, working in uh, Adobe software and Flash uh, to create animations that we see in everywhere. You guys see it on uh, your smartphones, you see it on the internet, uh, and then you also see more advanced forms of animation when you go to the movie theaters. I really like taking Animation 1 because it helps me get used to using all the tools that animators use, and it's definitely something I'm interested in in the future. 
Animation One gives students a basic knowledge of what lies ahead for them in either pursuing a future career in animation or the more in-depth Animation Two class set for next year. The course allows students to express their artistic nature through a new wave media while still keeping them in touch with classic art forms. It's a fun course. Uh, it's a course where um, you know, we're real excited to see what's going to happen, particularly in the second semester where a lot of foundation skills are going to be complete at that point and we can really develop some really neat ideas. Uh, and then hopefully a lot of the students that are in Animation 1 decide to take Animation 2 next year and, and that's where we'll get real advanced and trying to put some good portfolios together for students that potentially want to major either in art or in animation at the college level. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Tristan Fredrickson. Once again, the North Penn School District and Superintendent Dr. Curtis Dietrich are offering families the opportunity to talk one-on-one -on -one about important issues involving North Penn School Districts. Monthly community conversations will be held at various locations within the district from now until April. The next meeting will be held at the Penn, Spur Penn Suburban Chamber of Commerce in Lansdale on Thursday, November 21st from 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Seats are limited. Please call the number on your screen to reserve your seat today. That is all for this edition of North Penn News. I'm Rebecca Rosenblatt. And I'm Jackie Fricht. Just a reminder to check out all our programming on youtube.com backslash NPTV. We leave you with the senior class powder puff cheerleading performance. Have a great noon. <laughs>